So the overall arching thing that happened is that Nick Ricada, MN Law, and YouTuber facing drug charge. If you don't know who Nick Ricada is, let me give you a bit of an overview. This is courtesy of knowyourmeme.com. Big up know your meme, big up know your meme. Know your meme's description of Nick Ricada is as follows. Nick Ricada's arrest refers to the purported May 2024 detainment of Minnesota lawyer and YouTube streamer Nick Ricada of Ricada Law YouTube channel following an alleged months long descent into alcoholism, drug abuse, which some viewers claimed have noticed during his live stream leading up to his arrest. Ricada, who's also being sued by YouTube Mon Montograph after allegedly making false accusation of him being a pedophile, was reportedly arrested along with his wife Kayla and April Im Hotel, Im Holt, M Holt, I'm Holt, Im Holt, Im Holity. Im Holti, or however you pronounce her surname, apologies April, on firearm and drug possession charges. The detainment went viral on social media and inspired memes and rumours that Ricada's downfall began after he put on a replica Chris Chan um, Sonchu medallion sent to him by an unknown party in October 2023, with the memes claiming that the medallion supposedly cursed. <laughs> on May 2024, Ricada attended his arrangement over Zoom during which it was revealed that he was being charged with possession of over 25 grams of cocaine or meth. They couldn't. 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 They couldn't surmise if it was cocaine or meth. That's how good your fucking coke is. Or that's how bad it is, actually. They can't fucking work out if it's coke or meth. Yo. To be honest, anyway, these days, if you're willing to sniff 28 grams of coke, you're rolling the dice anyway. You're proper rolling the dice, right? It's a lot of cocaine. You can't think all of it's going to be pure, right? <laughs> you're rolling the dice like that's a lot of like that's a lot of white powder to cover. So you know, some deal along the way just got fucking greedy and thought, you know what? Let me bust this down some more. Let me fucking, you know what I mean, let's mix this up with some fucking whatever powder we have and go from there. But Jesus Christos, mate, 25 grams of meth for you and a lady. Yo, what kind of party is this? Can I join? Anyway, let's let's read the report. Courtesy of Fox News 10 in, in Phoenix. It says, Minnesota lawyer and online legal analyst Ricky Cato is facing a drug charge in Candy Hoey, it has it Candy Hoey, Candy Hoey County. Ricato was arrested on Thursday along with his wife Kayla and fellow online personality. Prosecutors filed charges against Ricato and his wife on Friday for second degree possession, child endangerment, and a gross misdemeanor firearm charge. That's really annoying, isn't it, right? I never knew this, but having kids and being an addict is kind of annoying. The kids kind of stop your fun. The kids are kind of vibe killers. The kids are the kids are basically bad vibes, isn't it? Having children is bad vibes. Because essentially, from what I've been able to gather online, if you get um if the police come to your house for a, a domestic dispute, whether it's your children calling the police or a neighbor or a fucking do-gooder or a fucking annoying good Samaritan, here's the screams of your wife as you're fucking wringing her neck in the living room for not bringing you the fucking spaghettios on time. If somebody calls the police over that, you know what can happen if they find out you got drugs and shit in the house? They can arrest you for child endangerment. That's the mad thing. If you're a parent and you've got, I guess you have to have kids under a certain age or just kids you're looking after and you're a legal guardian. If they come to your crib and they see like lines of coke on the fucking table as you're on top of your wife in fucking mount, on full mount with your two hands around her neck like fucking Homer Simpson, then of course, you know, they're going to say, hey, you're also endangering these children. That's the mad thing about having kids. Kids can really ruin your vibe. You can't even get on it, have a little coke party with you, your main itch and your side itch because the kids get in the way. They want to do homework. They want you to look after them, play with them. They want you to hug them. They want you to do their, make their dinner, put them to bed, you know, give them a wash, sort out their uniform for the next morning, listen to their stories about school. It's like, fuck all that, kids. I want to sniff these lines with my two bad itches right i want to get fucking crazy i want to get turned i want to turn on a stream i want to slur my words on stream i want to receive the fucking donations i want to go fucking crazy you little kids out here running around taking up my time taking up my resources asking me questions wanting to love on me wanting me to give you attention want me to be your dad bitch i'm not your daddy pick up an ipad what are they for if they're not here to make you a, like, like, what is this man i pay the bills I make sure you got clothes on your back. What more do you want from me as a parent? Hey, what more do you want? 
You want me to look after you? You want love and affection? Fuck off. Get it on social media. According to charges, law enforcement attempted to execute a search warrant on May 23rd at Vicator's home in Spicer and was greeted by a girl at the front door who did not let them inside. <laughs> Yo, when you're on it anyway, right? When you're spinning, when you're on a proper coke sesh, the one, the only, the worst thing when you're on a coke sesh is strangers. Because you suddenly think that's Popo. You think that's MI5. You think that's CIA. You think that's Border Force, whatever, man. You think that's a fucking sheriff's office. You are sweating. You think it's SWAT. Like, the worst thing when you're on a session is strangers. All you want are familiar faces. You don't want any strangers unless it's some fucking slaw that's ready to get down on her knees and give you soppy toppy. For the most part, you don't want any strangers around you. Any knock, any breeze, any open doors. Anything is going to just send you into a fucking shook land you're gonna be like <laughs> so i could imagine on the 23rd like hello ricada ricada the law ricada law ricada law yeah you know i mean you don't you don't want to open exactly all the fucking windows are blinds are closed you're in pure fucking darkness it's probably the third day it's probably the sixth day you've been on the bender because 26 grams how long is that gonna last you probably like a couple of days between three people right or maybe four you're just like you know what i mean you're just fucking going nuts the last thing you want is fucking vibe killers. And who's the biggest vibe killer? Of course, the feds. Who's the biggest vibe killer after your own kids? The fucking feds. Um, after Vicada refused to provide the door code, law enforcement used a door ram to get inside. Yo, they knocked down this nigga's house door with a door ram while he was spitting on coke. Do you know how fucking crazy that must have been? Do you know how nuts that must have been? To be inside with your two bad itches, who you probably shouldn't have at home with you with your kids. Let's be fair, right? You shouldn't be having slaws in the front room with you while you with while your kids are upstairs and you're racking fucking lions. You, they, your kids should be probably somewhere else. But whatever, it is what it is. You pay the bills. Time to go upstairs. Lock the door. You got the fucking iPad. I gave you the fucking password. I put fucking ten pound on your little fucking card. If you want to buy some food, jump out the window and go to the shop and then come back. You know what I mean? Don't get kidnapped. But imagine you're high and you're spinning and then you hear, it's, it's bad enough you hear. Even just a small knock from your neighbor. Even a small knock from your neighbor. I swear to God, that's going to send you shivering. Imagine the fucking, bah, bah, that battering around thing they use, right? Where they, they bah, bah, on your fucking door and the whole house is shaking. Fucking hell, bro. God damn it. Law enforcement proceeds to search the master bedroom and bathroom and they allegedly found a variety of drug print. They're doing coke in the bedroom. Come on, bro. You know, you can only do that in a living room. You can't be doing coke in the main bedroom. And they found drug paraphernalia, including three small baggies <laughs> that tested positive for cocaine. Eight green tablets that tested positive for ketamine. You guys have ketamine tablets. I want some of those. I only have them in fucking shards. And no matter how much you crush them, they still fucking burn your fucking nose. Where the fuck do you get ketamine tablets from? I want some of those. Green ketamine tablets. A digital scale and several other items that tested positive for cocaine. So the whole bedroom was covered in cocaine dust. Yo, he was living a proper Scarface life, innit? On stream, he's all like trying to be Christian lawyer, man. Off stream, he's fucking going crazy. Authorities also found a Sig, a Sig Sauer AR. What's a Sig Sauer AR? Is that a gun? It sounds like a gun, right? What's a Sig Sauer AR? Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo! Nick Ricada is a fucking boss. He was in the crib with two fucking slags, 26 grams of coke, and a fucking rifle. Are you stupid? Yo! Look at that, bro. Man's got an AR-15 in the crib with two bad bitches sniffing. Yo, to be honest, this is a bit of a flick. This is a, this is this is this is a bit of a flex. Imagine, cr forget fucking doing coke on some bitch's tits or something or on her bum. Fuck all that shit. Rack it up on the grooves of that. You know where they put the gun. But rack it up on the grooves of here of the bullets, right? Of that chamber. You rack it up in there. You, I'm sure somebody, sure some crackheads done it. I'm sure they have. You rack it up in there and you sniff it off that shit. That that will be a fucking vibe. Oi. Then one of you gets too high and you just like you forget the fucking guns loaded. Safety's off and boom. Somebody's whole arm comes off. Like, <gasps> yeah, you know I mean, that must feel amazing at the rush. 
<laughs> and you're like, <laughs> you're trying to get your breath and your arms just like off. Yo, that would be so much fun. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Shut up. Kids are like, mommy, mommy, Nikki, daddy, Nikki. Man, shut up, man. I gave you the fucking iPad and the password. What more do you want? You want the charger? Go buy a charger, man. I gave you $10 on your card. You're just there. <sighs> or, maybe if, or maybe if you're really smashed, you can maybe find a way to use the fucking gun itself as a fucking straw, if it's possible. I'm not sure how. Maybe there's a bit, there's a way how you can kind of, you can kind of disconnect or, you know, screw off the front bit. And then you can kind of use the big thing as a straw. The, the whole fucking front bit. I don't know what it's called. Of the, of the rifle. <laughs> and sniff it off fucking their whole bodies. Yo, that will be fucking... F oh my... Honestly, I swear to God. Poor people in America have way more fun than poor people in, Amer in the UK. Poor people in America have way more fun. Or not poor people. What, trashy people in America. That's, let me read what I said. Trashy people in America have way more fun than us trashy people in the UK. We don't have this kind of fun, man. This is fun, bro. You got some you got two slaws in your fucking house. Bags of cocaine, your kids upstairs, so you're running a big risk. They might come in a room and just see you because that must be super embarrassing, right? Your kids seeing you drunk. Cause all all men always say, there's always men. Men always say, What's that? Um Oh, Nick Rickett's house. Has he got a house? What's his house got? Men always say whenever they have kids, sometimes the drugs and the and the booze kind of you know it put it, they put it to a side because the you know the thing is oh you never want to you never want your kids to see you drunk or to see your eye, so you kind of put it to one side. But if you're the kind of person that has kids and it doesn't change you, you and you just increase the fucking you increase the craziness. It's not enough just to do a couple of bumps with you and your wife after work. It's all well and good. We've all done some mad things. You invite another slaw to the crib and you've got a strap just in case somebody gets any smart ideas and thinks you're not fucking, you know, you ain't ready in case someone comes and tries to do a burglary or something. You can blow their heads off. Oof. Let's do this, bruv. What is this? Let's, like, what, am I, what am I Googling here? Nick Riquet's house. What's Nick Riquet's house look like? Let's see what let's see what these guys are saying in the chat. What does Nick Riquet's house look like? Oh, there's not, it's, it's not, it's not pictures of it. I just want a picture. I don't want to, oh, they're going to show me a video of it. I just want a picture. If there's no pictures of it, and I'll just move on and we'll just do the other stuff quickly and upload it. What's going on here? Okay, they're getting arrested. Okay, cool. No worries. Let me, let me carry on. And then if, if I find the video, we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, big up, uh, who's, who suggested that? Big up class, I think. Um, let's continue. Authorities also found a Sig Sauer AR with several magazines and loose ammunition underneath the bed, a spent shell casing on the bedroom floor, <laughs> fucking hell, and located additional firearms ammunition in the garage according to court docs. So Nick Riccato was packing, always has been packing. Police took Riccato and his wife Kayla into custody and he told law enforcement that he and his wife stayed in the master bedroom where law enforcement claimed to find most of the drug paraphernalia but allegedly refused to answer questions about the cocaine according to court records. Good, 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 good. Law enforcement noted Riccato had several injuries to his arm at the time of the arrest. They described the injuries as sores that are common with con Oh my god. Oh, okay. Now it's getting sad. I thought they were having like rock star freaky time like you know threesomes and shit and doing loads of blow but my niggas got like my niggas got like sores over his body yeah no thank you no thank you Ugh. brother ricketa who owns a law firm based in spicer minnesota saw his online following skyrocket during the pandemic and he recovered cases including the car written house trial and johnny depp's lawsuit against amber heard oh yeah true he was the he was the main guy for that innit um he has more than 15 50 150 000 followers on twitter and nearly 450 000 subscribers on youtube ricketa and his wife are set to make their first public so, so first court appearance on friday morning anyway that's what you got there Let's go into the whole actual story to get the actual background on what, on what happened, right? So, obviously, if you go onto the fucking Kiwi Farms, big up the farms and shit, you feel me? I normally go in here only for fucking DSP. For the, I normally only go on the DSP thread. I never usually go anywhere else. Sometimes I go on the boogie one, but this time the Nick Ricada thread has been fucking going crazy, right? So, the Nick Ricada thread, as you can see here, a man got arrested with his wife. And to make things even worse, this whole story... 
April, the ex-wife of the guy from Stilto was there too. Allegedly, this woman is divorcing the Stilto guy and she fell in love with Nick Ricada and now they're in some kind of frapple relationship. But you have to feel a bit sorry for fucking Stilto guy, innit? Imagine this version of Nick Ricada taking your girl. Crackhead, reggae reggae, vest wearing, black eye having, you know lost hope you know dead behind their eyes that kind of version of written not even the johnny depp trial version like this version of fucking nick ricator stealing your wife i don't know about that i'd kind of i'd probably i'd probably want to unalive myself i'm not gonna lie i might want to unalive myself if that guy steals my wife like you might as well just wrap it all up fuck that there's no point in living but anyway white people are gonna white people in it so it is what it is so these guys carry on living and let's go through the actual meme of what happened right the background so let's go through the timeline big up know your meme because they, they put out the timeline in really way in really succinct way intoxication problematic behavior on stream for early 2024 multiple clips of the lawyer and content creator nick ricator which may have noted um that he appears to be intoxicated while streaming on rumble and youtube were uploaded online Ricketta also became more aggressive on his streams with incidents that included publicly making fun of suicidal fan who reached out to him. <laughs> to be fair, you deserve it. If you're suicidal and you're reaching out to Nick Ricketta for help, you know, it's already over for you. Do you know what I mean? Just, just do what you have to do. You, you, Nick Ricketta ain't going to help you. No one online is going to help you. Seek actual help or, you know, whatever. Compare Michelle Obama to a baboon whoops um <laughs> on may 21st 2024 ricketta hosted a now deleted live stream after finding out that he lost his court appealing against slander lawsuit leveled against um him by youtuber montograph who ricketta reportedly accused of being a pedophile throughout the stream ricketta can be seen drinking um yeah and this is to be fair this is kind of like the Bre brendan shaw arc isn't it he was going through his brendan shaw phase brendan shaw kind of reined it in I think Brendan, deep down, is a bit of a scaredy cat. He wasn't really ready to go full party boy mode. But Brendan had his time where he was like looking like this. He looked more bloated though. He didn't look like he was missing meals. He looked like he was just drinking a lot um, and still eating a bunch. But God damn it, man! Look at look at even just this. Can I play this video? Because I don't want it. I don't want to go. Okay, the worst of Nick. Okay, this is the worst of Nick Ricator law. Let's see if this video plays because I I want to see a little bit of what because his face, bro. To be honest, some of his fans. Or uh, maybe a little bit. A lot of his fans are actually surprised that this happened. They're actually surprised. I saw some posts and stuff from people that are in his little fan base saying they're actually surprised that this happened. It, was, it took them by surprise. And I can't understand why because the guy looks fucking fucked. Anyway, let's continue. Let's just read the whole thing here. Um. That day, several ex-users, including Happy House Video, uploaded a clip on an Adelaide live stream, which appears to be not only intoxicated in the stream. He sits quietly with his head in his hand and then wonders why the camera's still on. <laughs> Famous last words, isn't it? That reminds you of fucking DSP. Oh no, is the camera still on? Ah, oh, it's on the whole time, huh? All right, that reminds me of that, D that famous DSP one where he's fucking, fucking wanking on stream like a fucking donut that he is. Um... He appears not to be intoxicated in the stream. Um, what is going on with Nick Ricada? A clip from the same streams also shares supposedly showing him returning from a break with a substance under his nose. I don't know why people were saying that they were surprised or that they were trying to cope and say that it was like a donut or donut. Like, was it like someone said it was icing or frost? I was like, bro, he obviously did a couple of bumps. Like, it's obvious to see his behavior was changing, he was twitching a lot. Like, it was clear to see that he took a bump when he left. Like, it's not that hard. I don't know why people can... What, how can you watch somebody on camera, on a webcam, on an SLR, in a, in, a, in, a brightly, in a brightly lit studio, and not be able to tell if they're drunk, tired, high... Like, it's just easy to tell. Someone's on camera. Just, you're looking at them. Just look at them. <laughs> it's not that hard to tell. So, I'm surprised people were coping with that. Anyway, also a May 21st ex-user, Bill, Bill Purnell... This, this is definitely a DSP detractor, posted a video combining a clip of Ricator talking about being able to control his alcohol drinking, followed by a clip of him f failing to realize his stream is still running, garnering over 2,100 likes. On May 22nd, the video also uploaded on subreddit Sad Cringe, where he gained 5,000 upvotes. On May 22nd, YouTuber 
was it Fletorist? Fletorist posted clips on the stream by Kickstreamer and Kino Casino. Big up the Kino Casino guys. They've got amazing fucking clips channel. Check those guys out. I watch them all the time. It was hypnotizing and using enhanced audio that Rikata, um was receiving oral sex. Yeah, I've seen that clip too. It looked like something was going on. I think you could even hear the belt buckle being un being undone when he was down there. So yeah, like bloody a guy, a guy was getting sloppy toppy on stream from another man's wife. You know, oof. If you're that ex-husband, you wanna wanna. You, it's not his fault, but you wanna fight him. Um, Imhot, Imhotel or Imhot is associated with Steel Toe Podcast and is the ex-wife of Aram Imhot, um, one of Rikata's ex-friends. And it's rumored that Rikata is cheating on his wife with Imhot, although the unconfirmed speculation. Obviously, we got the arrest. And then we got also um, more updates here, courtesy of this Twitter user that I'm going to play for you. So let's just go through the whole thing because it's fucking fascinating, fascinating. So the update from this so far is, holy hell, Riketa is now facing over 26 years in prison. Of course, they'll probably give him a plea. Who knows what he'll serve. But JFC, this is, has to be the worst hangover in history. However, since he's been involved with his kids, I have little sympathy. Yeah, I agree with that too, basically. Once he's got to do something with kids, you know what I mean? There's nothing else that needs to be said. Let's see if we can play this. Hopefully my computer isn't going to fucking crap out. Bear with me a second. And we get this to 360. Let's see if we can play it. Count one is second degree possession, 25 uh, grams or more of cocaine or methamphetamine. Uh, this is in violation of Minnesota statute 152.022, subdivision 2, print A, print 1. The maximum sentence for that count is 25 years in prison and or a $500,000 fine. Count Pick up Andy Ward. That's true. That is the American dream, brother. That is that's the American dream. <laughs> to be in a house with two women, your kids upstairs, 26 grams of coke and a fucking cupboard full of heavy artillery. That is the fucking American dream. I fucking love it <laughs> two is possession of ammunition uh, or any firearm with the user of controlled substances this is a gross misdemeanor so the maximum sentence is 364 days in the candy county jail and or a three thousand dollar fine count three endangerment of a child uh, when presence uh, with a sale or possession of a controlled substance imagine that come down in it imagine that come down Sometimes you have a come down on the on your way on the set, you know, on the work week if you get a little bit cheeky and it's obviously horrible and then you're coming down maybe at work and you're dreading what you what, why you made a decision to grab a drink, why you made a decision to call a dealer, like you're just dreading all your decisions. Imagine this. Imagine this come down. You're just like staring at us, I thinking, fuck, how did I get here? And you're probably thinking about the trolls, I think. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I think this sort of image you're probably thinking more about the trolls than actually the situation itself. You're probably thinking about how many people online have now seen this and how embarrassing it is for your family. You know, that's what you're thinking about right there. You're not even thinking about, yeah, you're just, you're just thinking about how what people are saying. That's the first thing you're thinking. Immediately, your high goes, you're, what people are saying online about me. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Anyway, let's continue with that tweet. Um... Some info on the statement here. Da, 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 da. What's this one? The American dream is conning your way to the way top and then going out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> that is basically, yes, exactly, 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 exactly. Now, the, uh, the big up point and shoot. While going point and shoot in the chat, what's good? What's good? What's good? Um, no, he's not. He, he's not a PKA guy, but he was mostly known. He mostly became popular. He's an internet lawyer or YouTube lawyer. He mostly became popular because he covered a lot of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard stuff. And because I think wasn't he friends or wasn't he getting information from like Doug Stanhope? He revealed a lot of the background stuff. Like he was the one that was able to give a lot of info that people didn't know about the case. I think so because he was talking to Doug Stanhope, who is close friends with Johnny Depp. But he covered that a lot. He covered the Carl Rittenhouse case, um, the shooting when he went on that um, rampage and murked a few people and shit. So he's he's been quite famous in Law Tube. He's quite famous on Law Tube. He's probably, he's maybe one of the most famous ones, isn't it? To be fair, he was he, he's, he's a big deal. Um, or he was a big deal. Then he kind of went down a bit. I think because he got demonetized on YouTube. He, and he also covered DSP early on as well. Um, 
So let's see this. Let's see this quickly. Upon entry of the, this is obviously from the police. Upon entry, law enforcement located Kyla Riketa and April M. Holt, and four juveniles are also in the house. He's got four kids in the house while he's railing coke with two bitches, one being his wife. Yo, white people are wild, bro. Four kids in the house, and you're blowing out backs and blowing shit up your nose. Okay, bro. Nic Nicholas Re uh, Ricator returned to the home with law enforcement. He de demanded a copy of a search warrant. When given a copy, he looked at it and threw it in the ground. During the search, law enforcement located the following in the master bedroom. A yellow snort tube, positive for cocaine. Yellow tubes in the chat, yo, because you can spot them easily. A black vial with white substance inside, field tested cocaine and weighed 2.2 grams. Two credit cards listed to M April M. Holt. Uh, .22 caliber shell casing. The following items are located in the master bedroom uh, AR with several magazines. The following items are located in the bedroom dresser, a glass container with metal filter and a grinder. And yo, how much? He had coke everywhere in that fucking bedroom, innit? In a fucking vial. Someone to chew. Like, wow. Jesus Christ. This guy was spe like everybody's money that they were giving him, right? <laughs> he was just spending it on coke and guns, <laughs> bag of cards um, with dollar bills, field tested for cocaine, a large corner cut baggie with white powder that field tested for cocaine that weighed 18.96 grams, three baggies that field tested for five grams, eight green colored tablets that field tested for ketamine, digital scale that tested positive for cocaine, metal paneled white powder. Why did he have a metal pan with white powder on it? Was he was he was he trying to come? What do you do, um, people in the chat? What do you do with a fucking metal pan and coke? I never, I, I never use that. What do you use a pan for? Is it is that to turn it into something? Or is that is that how you turn it into crack? Or do you or is that done with the fucking um liquid? I don't know. Why the why would you need a metal pan? A metal pan with white powder. Why would you need that for? <laughs> Rocketing us to the party. It's for the scale. A metal pan with white powder on it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Big up Chris Mack. Okay, it's for the scale. Two snort tubes and metal cutters and snort tubes. Yo, they had individual snort tubes, right? So there's one on the dresser, two here. So at least they were doing it properly. They weren't sharing straws and stuff. They were being they were being environmentally, you know, cautious and shit. They were looking after each other. There was a lot of health and safety regulations that were they were abided by. They had individual snort tubes individual cutters individual baggies you know responsible responsible addicts i like it responsible um the following items were located in a safe in a master bedroom closet a hundred dollar bill with white powder residue field tested for positive for cocaine a bindle white bag with white powder cocaine scooper two baggies with white bag two baggies within a baggie <laughs> two baggies within a baggie with a funnel unknown brown oh what's a brown substance oh no was he getting into a bit of h was was he getting into a bit of h oh no but to be fair when you got all that money and all that time it's only gonna go one way in it it's only gonna go one way he's going down a hate route fuck a t additional firearms found in the garage. The total amount of measurable cocaine was 26.67 grams. Cocaine is scheduled to control substance. Ketamine is controlled one. Detective Paul Pomplum. Detective Pomplum, you know. Pomplum. Pomplum. Re rested at a residence. He was read in Miranda rights. Agreed to speak with officers. Um, indicated April was at home visiting. Nicholas Cicada and Kayla were placed under arrest um, and transported to the county jail. Do you think the neighbours, do you think the neighbours snitched on them? Maybe the neighbours snitched. Maybe the neighbours saw loads of people or saw loads of activity all hours of the night because I'd imagine, I don't know, I've got a feeling that American neighbours are way more Karen-y than UK ones. I think American neighbours are proper curtain twitchers. So some of the neighbours within their neighbourhood were getting worried that the kids weren't coming outside, they weren't playing with their fucking kids and shit. You know, it wasn't just a normal house. Like, they were just inside the whole time. The blinds were closed, but they heard voices. So maybe the neighbours, concerned to marry the, the fucking party poopers they are, called the feds and told them, hey, they're having fun. 
they're sniffing drugs and they're fucking each other you know and then the police came down and said we have to put a stop to that it's like bro let them crash out bro i love a good crash out i love people just burning out in public it's nothing better than that people try to stop it and try to give people lessons and they're just they're not gonna listen to you nick k is gonna come out and just start sniffing again he's probably got a secret stash somewhere the police didn't find maybe inside a fucking bedroom post or something you know what i mean Oh, really? The theory is, big up Darsky the Flow. The theory is that Aaron, um, the still toe guy, snitched on Nick because I guess he's pissed that Nick is banging his wife. Or that, do they have kids? A a um, Nick, so do they have kids? Um, What's his face? Still toe guy in April. Maybe he's pissed that the mum isn't around because she's with fucking still, but she's with fucking Nick Ricardo all the time. Either way, um, that's a bit lame from Nick, to be honest. Don't call the police. Go over to his house and fucking beat him over the head with a baseball bat. You don't need to get the police involved. If you're that pissed off that this guy took your girl, beat him up with a bat and then, you know, do the ditty on her. Like, why the fuck are you fucking calling the police? That's what I would do. No, I wouldn't do that. Someone would do that. Not me. Um, anyway, continuing on. Um, big up this account. Um, undoomed. So what more do we have here? Then we have a statement here from Nick Ricada. Nick Ricketta's statement, he's got released from prison. He's been released on bail. Um, obviously, he posted bail. It says, about the news. So, hey, obviously, a lot has happened. I'm sorry for legal purposes. It must be reiterated that sorry is for the disruption and it's no way related to my pending legal matters. That said, please realize that no one has the full story or picture on anything. It's possible no one ever will. Nothing reported is accurate and that's not their fault. I've seen so many supportive messages. Thank you for that. I'll still be doing stuff. I'm home now. Stay tuned for show announcements and stuff here on Locals. Nick, bruh, you don't need to be thinking about doing shows and all that malarkey. You need to be thinking about going to rehab or something because you are fucked. If you're a lawyer, your, your license gone again. Parent, you know, you're at risk of losing your kids. L you know, wherever you live, everyone now knows that you're a fucking cokehead. And that you're fucking smashing randoms or, you know, people in your house that aren't just your wife. And you've got that alternative lifestyle going on. Your kids won't ever look at you the same again. You probably scarred them for life. Like your fans now know everything that you do in dark and secret is out in the in the public. I don't know, man. Shows shouldn't be on the front of your mind right now. Uh, the front of your mind should be thinking about how you're going to fucking rescue the situation. Not fucking shows. But Jesus Christ, bro. Um, Nick Ricator is in big, big, big trouble. And um, I'm not going to lie. I'm all for it. I'm all for it, man. I like a good crash out. Um, I hate when people fucking, you know, um, go out of their way to be do-gooders and try and give people lessons and help them out. Because the, the conclusion I have is this. I don't think this is going to end well. I think this is going to end the way you think it's going to end in your head. I'm not going to say the words, but it's probably going to end that way. Um, very rarely do locales have a moment of clarity or a come to Jesus moment. Um, I haven't been in the locale universe that long, but I've been following DSP for, you know, a number of years. I've been following the, the wing stuff for a number of years, the boogie stuff for a number of years. And something I've learned from locales is that there's never there's never a time there's never a possibility that they're going to turn it around so it's, it's false hope there's no need for you to hope for that just enjoy the shit show and when it comes to nick ricator he's a little bit more educated a little bit more sophisticated he's got you know a better reputation than those guys but he's still a locale so someone like that will probably double down triple down gaslight everybody um, make it out to be everyone else's fault except his no personal responsibility no accountability and you'll just keep doing it anyway he'll probably have his fans and sicker fans that are gonna you know embolden him and make him feel like he did nothing wrong he did everything correct what's a fucking dsp and it'll just continue 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 this isn't gonna end this is not the first you've seen this is not the last it's gonna get more freaky it's gonna get more crazy and i'm here for it i swear to god i'm here for it I love, I love a good crash. I love seeing people fucking lose it all in the blink of an eye. I love to see the fucking degradation of it. I love to see the lives that are fucking crushed alongside of it because it's the hum it's human nature. Some, some of us just love to crash out. And people that try and get in a way to help, it's not going to happen. If he wants to help himself, if he wants to help himself, he'll help himself. He doesn't need anyone to crash it because he's had good people around him his whole time. I think I listened to Kino Casino, actually. Somebody said on Kino Casino that a bunch of people in his actual real life, his actual real friends reached out, tried to get him to like see the error of his ways, tried to tell him that he's doing too much, calm down with a party and chill out. He didn't listen. 
So this is a, you know, this was what happens. Um, people here crying and wishing that he didn't do it. Like, bro, just let the guy crash out. It is what it is. It's fun to watch. Um, I think so anyway. I'm not sure about you guys if I'm being a little bit crazy, but I'm all for it, man. Since I saw the light about U Unix, because again, like I said before, I was one of those people I used to judge and be like, oh my God, I can't be people watch Uniques. How's he getting so fucked up on stream? This is disgusting. Blah, 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 blah. But then I realized, no, this is actually fun. It's actually kind of fun, especially when you're not that person and you're not doing what they're doing. Just to witness somebody, a grown adult, just like crashing out fully, it's kind of entertaining. Somebody even commented yesterday about it saying, oh yeah, I watch fucking Unique in the background when I'm working. Someone said they literally have Unique playing in the background when they're fucking working. <laughs> and it's just fun to see him go from like being somewhat alert and then kind of crashing out. The same thing must happen to Nick Ricada. Seeing him go from like, you know, coherent to non-coherent in a matter of hours and then you keep tipping him and sending him over the edge making him buy more drinks buy more drugs it's kind of fun it's kind of fun so it is what it is it is what it is i'm here exactly carl swindell the legend fucking legend bro he he's about to bring down thick boy and he's having fun doing it let him fucking rock let him fucking rock